Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will have to perform the practical relating to open channel flow. So the objective of the practical is to determine the characteristics of open channel flow over a rectangular and V notch. Here we have uh, two type of notches in hydraulic lab. The one which is installed that is um, rectangular notch. The width of that rectangular notch will be given to us. That is that will be constant, which is 0 0.030 meters. The other notch which is given, which is available in our hydraulic lab, that is uh, V notch. The angle of this um, V notch will be given to us. That is that is the constant value of this notch. So that will be 90 degree. Then we have uh, uh, different components of certain apparatus in which we have a diffuser to diffuse the velocity of that open channel flow which is flowing out from the hydraulic bench. This is baffle plate. It can diffuse, minimize the turbulency, the disturbance of the open channel uh, water which is flowing in this uh, hydraulic bench open channel. So you will have to use this baffle plate for diffusing, for minimizing the disturbance of the turbulency of open channel uh, water flowing in this channel. Then we have a hook end point gauge. Uh, as you can see that there are two types of uh, scales are given in this uh, apparatus, hook end point gauge. One which is fixed, that is vernier scale, sorry main scale and the one which is adjustable or which is moving with the help of this adjustable steel rod this scale is called a uh, vernier scale then there we have a, a fine adjustment nut you would have to uh, perform fine adjustment of the needle uh, through this fine adjustment screw then first of all we would have to calculate the datum height of uh, uh, the channel the base of the channel up to the base of the notch so you would have to unlock this uh, steel rod and confirm the value of main scale and vernier scale that each of the zero zero should be coincided on both of the scale so it's con uh, it's coinciding both of the zeros are coinciding to each other so you would have to then lock this scale and move this instrument carrier up to the point of the rectangular notch then you would have to unlock the steel rod and adjust that nut that needle up to the base of the notch and then you would have to check the value of main vernier scale on the main scale so the value of datum height that is 81 this is basically the value of datum height which is fixed which can't be changed unless until you would have to change the uh, notches which are given to us you have to, if you would have to change the notch from rectangular to v notch so the datum height will be definitely changed from the base of the hydraulic bench channel then you would have to switch on the hydraulic bench As you can see that the needle of the hook and point gauge is merged in the water. So we would have to unlock the steel rod and adjust the tip of the needle to the surface of the water. And then we would have to note the value of water level, overall water level in the channel. So that is 107. 108 millimeters scale is in millimeters now you would have to subtract the value of datum height from the value of water level 107 minus 81 so that will be the value of height above notch and we would have to calculate the volume flow rate 
for this particular reading would have to the uh, value of uh, volume after 30 seconds the time will be fixed that is 30 seconds and then you would have to calculate the flow rate through formula volume divided by time G, it's uh, 9 liters in 30 seconds then you would have to repeat the same procedure for the second reading just increase the volume flow rate with the help of uh, flow control valve which is given in the hydraulic pan and then you would have to adjust the needle uh, uh, calculate the value of water level and then subtract the datum height from that particular water level you would have to get the second reading calculate the flow rate for the second reading and continue the process for 3 to 4 readings.